everyone. We're going to start with a song today. Can you join in with the song with me? I think some of you know this one already and it goes like this. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Now you've made a pattern. Rub your hands and shake your shoulders. Rub your hands and shake your shoulders. Rub your hands and shake your shoulders. Now you've made a pattern. Tap your knees and blink your eyelids. Tap your knees and blink your eyelids. Tap your knees and blink your eyelids. Now you've made a pattern. Great pattern making everybody. Well done. Now I want you to get your listening ears on and I want you to get ready to listen to some funny sounds. Now we're going to play some noises next and I want you to guess what this noise is. It will be something you know if you listen carefully to the sound. See if you can tell me what it is. Are you ready for the first one? Here it comes. What did you think it was? Well done, it was a cow. That's right. Let's listen again. Listen carefully. Another cow? I think that was another cow. Let's listen again. Hmm, what was that one? It was rain, rain falling, lots of gentle rain. Get your listening ears ready and listen again. Mm, what was that one? Don't like that sound. It was an ambulance. Listen again. That would wake you up in the morning. I wonder what that one was. It was the sound of a cockerel. Get your listening ears ready. What's the next one? We don't see many of these at the moment. Did you recognise that sound? Yes, an aeroplane. Well done. Who was that one? Maybe there's one of those in your house. What was it? Yes, it was a baby crying, wasn't it? Well done. Listen again. That was our last one. What was that one? Yeah, well done. It was a dog barking. Brilliant listening. Good job. <coughs> okay. Next, we're going to make a cake. And I've got my whisk ready, and I've got my mixing bowl, and I'm going to make a rhyming cake. So, all of the things that I put in my cake today have to rhyme, they have to sound the same. So, cat, mat, hat, rat, fat, all sound the same. Log, mug, zog, dog, all sound the same. Pin, thin, tin, bin, all sound the same. So as long as they sound the same, they can go in my cake today. Let's have a look at the pictures that I've got on the board. And let's see what we've got. We've got a hat, cat, bus. Hat, cat, bus. Which two can go in my rhyming cake? Which two sound the same? Did you guess? Hat and cat sound the same. So I can take hat and cat and I can put them in my cake, give it a little mix. Let's have a look on the next row. I've got bin, bell, pin. Bin, bell, pin. Which two sound the same? 
What did you think? Did you guess? Bin and pin? You did well done. It's bin and pin because bell sounds different. So I'm going to mix this up now. Oh, this cake's looking really good. What's coming next? Bun, lock, sock. Bun, lock, sock. Which two shall I put in my mixing bowl? That's right. Lock and sock. Not bun. Lock and sock. Well done. Now, down to the bottom of the board, we've got pan, fan, pig, which two sound the same, pan, fan, pig, that's right, pan and fan sound the same, they go in my mixing bowl, all mixed up, and now, I've got a delicious cake. I'm going to eat a delicious rhyming cake. So well done everybody. Good job. Okay, we're going to do a sound together today. And the sound that we are going to do is this one. I wonder what that sound is. Looks a bit like a snake, doesn't it? There was a little boy and he took his dog for a walk to the park and they looked in the grass and they saw a snake and the snake made a hissing noise like this it went Sss. can you make a snake noise Sss. and with your with your magic pencil that can do some writing in the air you can make a snake start at the top and down the snake start at the top and down the snake Okay, let's listen to the song for today and see if you can join in. It's about the snake. The snake is in the grass. Are you ready? The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. Would you like to join in this time and see if you can do the snake with me? Are you ready? So start at the top and all the way down with your hand. Are you ready? The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. Good job everybody. Well done. I loved your snakes. Maybe you could have a little go at home and see if you could write me some some. Make some of those wiggly snakes. Start at the top and all the way down. You can have a little try. Maybe do some big ones and some small ones and some that are different colours. That would be lovely. So we're going to do a silly soup. And in our silly soup today, we are going to have things that begin with a s. So I wonder, can I put in an apple? Apple. Can that go in my silly soup? Does it begin with a s? No, apple begins with an a, so I'm not going to put it in. What about some sausages? Sausages. Yeah, put those in the silly soup. They can go in, can't they? What about, ooh, spoon? Spoon. Yeah, that begins with a s. I can use it to stir my silly soup. What about sauce? Can I put some sauce in my soup? Yeah, that can go in the soup, can't it? What about a saucer? Can a saucer go in? Yes, we can put the saucer in the silly soup. What about grapes? Can grapes go in the silly soup? No. What do grapes start with? G -g -g 
grapes. One more thing. <gasps> what about this number? It's a number. What is it? A number six. Can it go in my silly soup? Yes. Well done. <gasps> We've made a silly soup with lots of things beginning with s. So your chilli challenge that I want you to do for me is I want you to have a look around your house. I want you to go on a little sound hunt. And what I want you to do is find things that begin with a s in your house. See how many you can collect together. I'd love to know how many you find. Take care. Bye.